and, and just talk to everybody uh, about incremental steps. Talk to everybody about changing just a little bit. If Elizabeth and I have, have done anything right, it's that we've gotten better every single quarter, every single year. Now, granted, we started out pretty pitiful, so it's not hard to get better when you start out at pitiful. But I just want to challenge everybody. If you get a little bit better every day, a little bit better every quarter, don't try to change everything. Don't go from where you are to the superhuman just get a little better and have the patience to get the compounding going of your little better. Insecurities toward external situations create unhappiness. But when there's when things that happen to us uh, combined with our insecurities, combined with our emotional challenges, combined with maybe our esteem or, or low self-esteem, those insecurities from external sources, external situations combined with those insecurities create unhappiness. What upsets us is not the things that themselves, so they, the things that happen, but rather our judgment about those things, how we see those things. All of us have challenges. All of us things have things that in our life that, that maybe happen that we don't like, but it's how we see those, how we react to those that, that determine our long-term future. We spend too much time and too much energy comparing ourselves to others, which leads to pain, frustration, immobilization, challenges. So I'm just going to ask everybody, let, let's let's set small list, okay, small changes, things that we're going to do just a little bit better, a little bit different. And, and I promise you, we're going to spiral up and how we see ourselves, how we feel about ourselves is going to change drastically. I mean, despite the technology advancements in the world, a simple to-do list remains the secret of successful people. You go talk to anybody that accomplishes anything. And I promise you, they wake up every day with a to-do list and not like an 800 page to-do list that they just brought over from the previous day. A small to-do list, having too much activity, too many activities on your list just diffuses your effort and, and slows your progress. The best to-do list is something where we just stick with a handful of very specific and actionable items. We talked about last week, starting out your morning with a to-do list, really going to bed at night with a to-do list. It's something that happens in your subconscious when you know the night before the top three things that you're going to get accomplished the next day. What happens is it's like your subconscious works overtime at night on how to accomplish that. Okay, I don't know the scientific part of it, but it works every time.